what's up guys welcome back to the music fox channel and guess what today i'm back guess what else mandalorian season 2 is right around the corner and today they just dropped the first trailer for it post is coming soon but you don't need to worry about that because we're about to react to the trailer i'm going to tell you my thoughts and then we'll just talk, to, talk about it after and yeah so let's get straight into it. here we go Interesting shot. A little view over the side of a planet. Oh, here comes a spaceship. Okay, that's the man in the ship. Headed to another planet. Weird voice in the background. Tell me the one safety deemed such destruction. Oh, dark shot. Looks you must quite moody. Quite cool. Oh, and we've got a view of the, the, the desert again. Snowy area. Oh, and we go. Sorcerers. sorcerers. <laughs> Jedi. Do you expect me to search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers? Enemy sorcerers. Uh. This is the way. So this is basically. Okay, October. Mandalorian's basically just taking Yoda to the Jedi. Oh, what if this Yoda, this baby Yoda, is the Yoda? That'd be sick. You know this is no place for a child. Wherever I go, he goes. Yeah, that's kind of true. Well, baby Yoda, Mandalorian isn't good <laughs> on his own in the show. I mean, the show is still good, but like, Baby Yoda's just the centre of the show, let's be honest. So this season is going to be about Mandalorian just taking Baby Yoda to the Jedi going on a journey. Looks awesome, not going to lie. October 20th, I think. Okay, that was it. So after just watching that trailer, I just realised something more than I did before. This show literally relies on Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is the heart and the centre of the show. Without Baby Yoda, the show would be a lot more average. Baby Yoda makes it more, oh look, he's on screen, what's he gonna do? And just like expecting him to do something weird and funny. And then his chemistry with Mando, with Mando is just like sick. They're like, boys. Well, Getting along in the strangest of ways, and Mandalorian's always seen Baby Yoda getting in trouble, and then, yeah, helping. So Baby Yoda, I hope he's going to beat up some more people in in Season 2, and I hope Mando's going to still be the same cool character he was in Season 1. So, that's what I think on it. I think it's going to be another great season. It looks different, it looks fresh, but it still remains a similar taste, and that's what I like. And what are everyone else thinking on it? Alright, so a website called Gizmodo said that the characters Ahsoka Tano, Boba Fett and this other character that I'm not too sure on will be appearing in the show. So Ahsoka Tano, of course anyone who's seen the Clone Wars knows that she's a dominant lead character and she's very strong and quite an interesting character and can be a bit annoying at times but also quite like meaningful. I haven't seen all of the Clone Wars, but from what I've seen, that's what I think of her. Also, she has been in the background before, like in the prequels. It'd be interesting to see her, like, more at the front in a live action. Well, I think she'll be at the front. At least she'll have some dialogue, you'd hope. And then we have Boba Fett, the notorious bounty hunter from Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Didn't last long, but of course, is one of the most famous characters in Star Wars. I'm going to be excited to see Boba Fett back. That would be really cool. You know.